Oh man, I feel like today could be one of the best videos we're ever gonna make. We were talking about this a lot last night, just really how crazy is this idea, how much extra time and, and energy and effort is this gonna take? We're going to attempt to do something that I don't think has ever been done. It's called Random 18, and it's the best 18 holes in all of Southern Utah. This idea was presented by Dan and Lincoln Markham of the What's Inside YouTube channel, and they are our guides for the day. Dan and Lincoln laid out an 18-hole course that led to a par 36 on each side. We had to change some things throughout the day to make our scorecard work, and because some of the courses wouldn't allow us to just play one or two holes. This video is the first five. We'll call it the front five. I didn't know if there's anybody crazy enough to, to have this feeling where you're like, that sounds so crazy, it's actually fun. I could tell when we were telling you about it, you were like, yes, the more we talked about it, you're just like, yes, uh-huh, and then you came up with more ideas for it, and yeah, it's a match made in heaven. We have to do this. All right, first up on the list, Sand Hollow. Any history, any facts about the course? It's not a very old course. I would say no older than, I'm guessing, like 15 years, but yeah, 2006 is when it was built. 2006, okay, good yeah. guess. It's consistently rated not just one of the best in Southern Utah, but this is one of the best golf courses in all of Utah. Sand Hollow is a breathtaking resort course carved out of the red rocks of the Southwest Desert. The red rock views amidst a stunning natural setting are the focal points of this John Fought designed golf course at Sand Hollow. Most golfers replace their club with a camera for the first shot on the back nine. So it's no wonder that Dan and Lincoln wanted to start out with a bang. We're gonna try to make our way out to the 10th at Sand Hollow to begin the best 18 of Southern Utah. The best 18 holes in Southern Utah. Look at these guys. Marty McFly getting out of the whip. Do you know what we're doing today? I think so, a little bit. No, we're, I don't think you do. I mean, I, I, if you did know what we were doing, I would be, I might be a little scared actually. <laughs> Dick, what are we doing? I know what you're Well, doing. they told us what you were doing up what, there. What they you say? guys are gonna go out and take some do some filming and have a good time. We are gonna do that, but what we're really gonna do is we're gonna play the best 18 holes in Southern Utah. Guess how many of them exist at San Hollow Day? At least 18 from my, from my <laughs> Hey, that's the right answer from your side. That's great. Welcome, guys. Go enjoy yourselves. Thank you. Thank you. It's not like when you play 18 holes, you have a couple holes to kind of warm up and get into a groove. We're gonna play five holes here, leave. Some some courses we're gonna play literally one hole, get out of the car, convince them to let us play, play that one hole, drive to the next course. So that's kind of an insane premise. This is totally above the law. <laughs> I can't wait. The first is a par five, 534 yard straightaway shot downhill and lucky for me on the first shot of the day, downwind. This drive plays at a slight angle down a fairway with bunkers scattered, demanding that a line be confidently chosen. The layup area is generous, but favoring the left is ideal to get an angle on the pitch into this large contoured green. This hole set up pretty good for me this morning, feeling like I could either pull it or draw it, which is kind of my miss these days. Yeah. Am I right? And I did both, but luckily just covered the bunker and stayed on the left side of the rather light rough. I love this start. I think this is gonna be a really hard challenge. First hole, par five, we're probably on the green in two. <laughs> so due to the fluffy lie, the downwind and the elevation, I'm playing here 195 and I picked seven iron. I just felt like with all of those factors that I didn't want to go long. going forward the hole, like it too popped right near the pin. Maybe this game is just like, Definitely the right club, although I did not get the bounce that I was looking for. I was hoping it was going to bounce what? in the hole. Look at this pitch mark. Gotta love my boy bro calling out Albatross from the fairway. A little up and down. We got this.
Yes. <laughs> Sick. Okay. Four golfers. Four putts. Is that true? Four putts. On this we one. all one putt. So with Lincoln here being a very good and accomplished golfer, we decided to create a little competition as the day went on. We didn't set out here to play some type of all-in match, but with us both starting birdie birdie, we figured, let's see how far this can go. So welcome to the match between Lincoln, Markham, and Eric Lang on Southern Utah's random 18 best holes. Hole two is Sand Hollow's 12th where players are met with their first taste of Sand Hollow's ledge, as it's known, and it's a moment that one never forgets. I was a little nervous on this tee shot, as you can tell. I kind of hit it low and to the right, because you don't want to go left. The fairway is much bigger than it looks, although it is almost impossible to convince your mind of that this fact. This whole 18 best thing, I mean, Bo, have you ever experienced anything like this? I've never experienced golf holes like this. I've never seen beauty like this on a golf course. <laughs> I've never parred a par five in a hole like this. I, I don't know, this, this is a, I've never driven down this steep of an embankment on a golf course. I mean, that is a nerve wracking drive. It's a very nerve wracking tee shot. You even said, uh, I don't know that I feel good about this. Yeah. And then you just said was, buttery tempo. I was very nervous on that tee. And yeah, it just all I can think about is I know that thinking about the result on the tee, like where it's going to go, is terrible. I agree. All I have in my realm of consciousness, really, is something that you can control, which is a part of your golf swing. That's the swing thought. But kind of like life, it's good to acknowledge, like, dude, I'm nervous. But yeah. then say, I'm also, I'm nervous. So you don't put it away, but then you know what? Buttery tempo, you know? Yeah, so here I just set up. Obviously, I've never seen this golf course. I know it's a little uphill. Um, not trying to go long and just trying to get that little pause at the top of the swing and turn this ball over. Uh, came off the face pretty good. Also playing with a brand new set of clubs. This 9-iron here is a P7MC. And then I have uh, in the 4, 5, and 6, I've got the 770, which is like a baby P790. A lot of numbers for you. Thanks, TaylorMade Golf, for the rad sticks. I'm clearly oh, I like loving it. A lot. it. Oh, Moving I like on. it a lot. Oh! Oh, oh, man. oh, what a putt. That is not easy from there. All right, so here's what happened, folks. No. This went in the center of the cup, and because we pulled the pin, it's got this upside down cup, so it, we're gonna count it. You can feel free to jump into the comments. Let me know how you feel about me counting this putt. <laughs> I don't know what to say. The third hole, Sand Hollow's 13th, is a short par four that gives players a choice to fit a layup between the left and center bunkers, or more boldly, attempt to carry the center bunker from the tee. Look at this hole. Not a dry check hole. out, check out over here though. Follow the, go look at that sign right here. So keep away from edge, deep cliff as we walk oh. over to the edge. Yeah, it is, it's no joke. I didn't think I had uh, fear of heights oh, dude, it's until I got to St. George yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Just a baby draw. Just like a three month year old baby draw. Got to give it to Dan here for getting up to the green and getting the actual action of the golf ball. Um, that is a very cool feeling. I, I never really have that. And you don't really know how far the ball is spinning back. And honestly, I think I might I might just have someone come out with me with a camera just to record the ball spinning back. I, I think someone calls that tour sauce, don't they? So Lincoln and I holding our own on this random set of 18 holes as we head into our fourth par four, 433 yards. The fourth hole, which is Sand Hollow's 14th, runs downhill all the way to the green, allowing players to bust a big tee ball. And fortunately, I got lucky with mine. Oh, 
So this is that kind of ball flight where when you see it, your blood starts to freeze over. Uh, this was left of the target, and it looked like maybe it was oh. going garbanzo beans on me, but luckily... Maybe trouble? Maybe. Definitely I, trouble. It is It is rest safe. It took rest one stakes. It took one bounce in grass, Okay. and then it jumped a little. It could be off the cliff, it could be on the edge. All right. yeah. Well, you know, good, bad, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I see a ball. Is that mine? Yeah. Amazing. Oh, day. That is a great spot. Skin of my teeth. Looks pretty reasonable. Can we get a shout out for this rangefinder? How sexy is this thing? Go to randomgolfclub.com to get your Precision Pro RGC edition now with slope. Well, you know what they say, drive for show, putt for dough. Lincoln and I don't have any money on the line, but respect wise, he gets mine. I feel like at this point, you and Lincoln need to be riding in the same cart. You're like hitting it right next to each other <laughs> on the green. You're cart buddies here. <laughs> Lance a pretty good golf, Lincoln. You're you're uh, you're kind of you're kind of helping me play better here. You know they say you the per person you play with kind of they bring you to their level. Yeah. So you're making me play a little better than my normal. One under through four. Yeah. Maybe about to go ten. It might much more than you at? Than my normal. I am you guys are both the tight on every single hole. We're both we both yeah. birdie number one, par the rest. Let's both think we're to do that. All right, good. we deserve it. Remember Zen Golf's thing, just get it next to the hole. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was going to be well short. We gave that the read. Yeah. Yeah, it did, it did feel a little slow. <laughs> nice part. Oh. Hit it. Go yes. in, baby. Hey. That's the difference, yes. baby. Yeah, I felt like I tapped it and then. <laughs> Great putt. Great putt. Hole five is Sand Hollow's 15th, the final hole at this location and the final hole of this video. It's without a doubt the signature hole known as the Devil's Throat. I don't want to know where it got that name, but anyway, all downhill for this ace cam opportunity. Okay, coming up is my favorite par three hole. It's, there's a few different tee boxes. We're probably gonna play from one that doesn't even have markers on it because you're in between two red rocks and you have to hit it over a canyon onto the screen. It does look intense. It's a good finishing hole With to the, pin the back. first five. Yeah. Back pin. How long will it play? This? I'm guessing 175. 192 playing 194. Wow. That's far. That's very to the, It's a very, very back though. Front right is 165. Just over that bunker to the right. I mean, it's a huge green. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, well, we forgot to say. He's Ace live. Cam is live. So as you might expect with trouble left, I just kind of hit a straight push to the right. I uh, kind of ended up in this sort of uh, Native American encampment here, just right of the apron on the green. Had a really okay lie, and and actually, when I made impact with the ball, I thought this is going to be really good. And <laughs> as I'm sure you've heard in many clubhouses across the world, it almost was. Thanks, man. But we fell into what Joel Damon calls the two chip. Chill out. <laughs> Where are you going? Wow. That went so far right. Yeah. Didn't read that. All right, finish with a double. We're going to call this good, maybe? That's good. Definitely. All right. Fun first five. Good. That was very fun. Sand Hollow Golf Course. Sand Hollows, uh, middle, back, five holes. How do you like Sand Hollow? Your thoughts so far, or just on the five holes you played though? The, the five holes we played of the best 18 in Southern Utah, um, it's it's got a very exciting combination of uh, beauty and terror. <laughs> really, and each hole has it. Each hole is stunning. You're looking at, dozens and dozens and dozens of miles of landscape in every direction. And each hole is unique, right? They're not all the same mm -hmm. yardage. They're, there's a long par four, there's a short par five, there's a long par three, mid-length par three, and then there's a medium length par four. So they have their own perfect, you know, you guys did a great job of picking a series of holes that make a lot of sense. And they're all terrifying. <laughs> they are so, terrifying. Yeah, very good. Escaping with um, one or two over, 
Is that what you guys were at? Uh, you were two under. I was one under. One under. Finished one. Where was your birdie? Where was your bogey? Right here. You bogeyed? Oh, that's right. Three putt. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. One under, one over. No problem. Yeah. That's great. Let's keep going. Yeah. Stay tuned for the rest of the random 18 round with Dan and Lincoln coming soon to Random Golf Club Films. Thanks for watching.